All right, now you guys have been worried about the home of module not working on GoodLock application since the release of One UI 6.0 beta, as well as after we received the One UI 6.0 stable variant. Now, finally, Samsung has pushed an update for a home up module on GoodLock application, and this has been activated now. As you can see, uh, when I open GoodLock application, we have got home up over here. When I tap on home up, now it's opening up and it is currently active. Now, let me just go to the change log. Let me show you what has exactly changed here or if there is any new features added. The version number is 15.0.00.7 and it says partial opening of One UI 6.0 support, which means the application is not supporting all the features. Uh, as you can see uh, below this upcoming features, home screen app list, home screen finder access, task changer, three types of unsupported layout, stack vertical list and slim list. These are the features which are currently not supported. We will perhaps get another update very soon uh, to activate all these features. Now below this it says uh, deleted features, uh, folder, the folder title suggestion and folder grid, folder icon. Uh, these are the features, uh, even the task changer, uh, which allows recent application gesture in the pay region home screen. These are the features which have been deleted now on the home of module on GoodLock. Now let me just go back to the GoodLock app I have just enabled this as you can see we have got home screen here we can increase the home screen grid beyond the default settings that we have we can increase the app screen grid favorite maximum count uh, from five to up to about nine favorite count we can increase and then uh, we have got loop pages option when we enable this the pages will keep looping let me just show you that I have enabled this uh, let's go to these pages here the uh, tray you can see when I go to the last page I can go back to the first page by again swiping across here you can see it is just a loop this entire uh, uh, app tree has become a loop when you enable that particular toggle there. Now let's go back. We can customize the background blur color of the layout. We can customize background color control, hide app icon label. We can enable this uh, to hide all the icon labels here. As you can see, the icon names are not appearing here. Likewise, there are plenty of customization options on home up module. Uh, if I go to folder, uh, here we have got a few features removed now. I think we will get uh, some additional features once we get the next update. The pop-up folder feature is working. Let me just enable this and I will open the folder here. As you can see, this is the pop-up folder. It is pretty much reachable with one hand. Now, if I disable this function, it is not opening up the same way. It, this is the default uh, pop-up we have got. However, when you enable this, it is very, very easily reachable in one hand. As you can see, this is the pop-up folder uh, which appears when you enable this particular feature. Now, uh, we have got folder grid size also. This can also be customized. Let me just go back. Now, uh, let's tap on backup and restore feature. We can backup and restore the home screen layout and uh, all the other uh, settings that we have on the home screen. Let's go back. We've got Share Manager. Uh, we have seen this before. Some of the features from the Share Manager have been already integrated into the One UI 6.0 or One UI 5.1. Now, I'm not going to get into details in this video. Uh, let me make another video once we get the next feature update for this particular module. Now, uh, let me tap on Task Changer. As you can see, when I enable this, uh, there are three options which are disabled here. That is what it uh, said in the uh, change log on the application. Uh, as you can see, Layout type, list and grid options are there. Let me just enable list. I'll go to the recent screen. You can see this is the list option we have got. Uh, let me enable grid. This is the grid option uh, when you go to the recent application. Here stack, vertical list and slim list are disabled. Now, uh, if you see, we have got this mini mode when I enable this and I go to the recent application, you can see all these apps are in mini mode. Let me disable this because this is not going to help us much. Uh, we need uh, to see the contents when you go to the recent application. Even this grid option is not something which I would prefer because I really need to see the contents when I go to the recent application. Let me just enable list. As you can see, this is when I would be able to uh, read the contents on the previous application. Uh, but if you're someone who would prefer to have a grid, uh, you can go ahead and enable that. That is a mini mode and we have got center the currently running application when you enable this. Whichever application is currently running will go to the center page. As you can see, let's say I have opened clock. Uh, let me go to the recent page. The currently running app will remain at the center. Let me just go back here. Now uh, we have got recommended applications. We have got switch to previous applications with gestures allow bottom gesture in full screen. So these are some of the options that you can explore. Uh, if you're new to GoodLog or if you're new to Samsung phone, this is a module which you must check out because this allows you to 
customize your home screen, customize the recent application layout, and a lot of other things can be customized using this home up module. If you want me to make a detailed video on how these entire list of features work, let me know in the comment section. I will make a dedicated video for this particular module. Now we are glad that this has been activated now on the One UI 6.0. Go ahead, check out your Samsung Galaxy Store. You will get the update for this module, or you can go ahead to uh, the GoodLog application and you can check out the update there. Uh, you will be able to see the update sitting right there under home home up module uh, or you just tap on more go to the store uh, you can update it right here you can read this change log here and update the uh, latest version of home up that's all i wanted to share with you guys i have already made a dedicated video for all the new features we have received on one 6.0 it's a very lengthy video explaining you each and every feature go ahead and check that out i have left a link in the description and while you do that be sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better that's about it thanks for watching my name is salyan signing off cheers bye bye